Hey guys, welcome to my channel again. My name is Orilua and I make videos of life, faith, and relationship. So this video would be um, a topic that I've been on my heart, been on my heart for a while. Um, mostly because um, while praying, I was like, God, I really don't know what to talk about. Not because I, not because I run out of topics, but because I just wanted to like do something different than I would usually do on this channel. Um, and God was telling me, you know, why don't you talk about idols? And I was like, idols? Like, you know, are you telling me something? Like, are you trying to, like, you know, point me towards an idol in my life? Obviously, we all have some idols in our lives that we, God always points us towards every time. Because we, you know, we keep having them. And, um, and then I was like, I'm going to talk about it today. Idols. So, guys, what is an idol? An idol is something, obviously, you know what an idol is. Something that we worship, something that we adore, something that we, 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 can, we, we enjoy doing or seeing or talking about or doing anything. Um, that is an idol. And um, over the years, God has always told, pointed me to my idols and I've always been um, breaking them down. And no one gets up again. Like It's an ongoing cycle of trying to get put up to God and try putting down these idols. So today we're going to talk about the idolatry of relationships that's the topic for today the idols of relationship the idols of marriage the idols of 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 um um acceptance the idols of being part of the group or being part of the social system but today i will face the idols of marriage um or, and relationships what is an idol of marriage and relationship um most people are programmed to um, get to the idea that once they have this age, they should be in a relationship. They should be dating someone. They should have family. They should have kids. That is a normal cycle. Um, and looking back at the word of God, um, there's a part in the Bible in Exodus where the children of Israel were waiting on Moses in the, um, from Mount Sinai to bring the, the, the Ten Commandments. It's in Exodus, maybe somewhere around um, 15, 16. Um, I, I don't know what exact chapter it is. And they were asking Moses to come down the, the a mountain and he, he never showed up. They got tired of waiting and they made a golden calf. The golden calf, they worshipped it like as if it was their God. And in fact, they said, oh, come worship this idol. It's the one that saved us from Egyptians, forgetting the God that part the Red Sea. So much they were going to worship a golden, lifeless God that cannot fulfill your needs. And I started thinking in my head, why do we find it easy to worship something rather than worship God? Because we don't want to face the reality of what God is. Most people will worship the idea of a relationship. How? They are obsessed about it. When they see a person, a brother at church, a sister at church, someone makes act like you at the store. Quickly, you start thinking about your babies, your wedding out, your wedding dresses. Start thinking about like they looked at me; they must be my wife. Maybe God is a good person. You see a good-looking lady, a good sister. You're like, oh, that must be that person for me. You see a good-looking brother at church. Start thinking about your kids' eye color. That is an idol. Your waking moment is obsessed with being with someone, be dating someone, being with someone. Now, there's a difference between the natural desires to be with somebody or to be in a relationship. And this is, what, this is what natural desires to worship the idea of a marriage or relationship or boyfriend or girlfriend as the opt ultimate way to happiness, as the ultimate ultimate way to acceptance. That is when it becomes an idol. When you elevate the idea that it's only when you get that thing that your life you will be happy. That is when you start to worship it. Times where God tells you to not be talking to someone or not be in relationship with someone, but you refuse to let go because you don't want to be by yourself or because you are afraid that if you let go, God is not enough. Now, that is the idol. Um, this is a prayerful thing and this is a topic that most people don't want to talk about because mainly because we all have idols and we all think, I'm not perfect, so why should I be the one to talk about it? Um, maybe that's what I think, but that's what I think, um, that I am not perfect, so why should I be talking about this topic? And God was saying, God was like, you know, you remember when you used to idolize relationships? Yes, I did, right? That's relationships. But God has taken me through that experience where he gave me what I wanted and it wasn't enough. Um, we don't have to go through that kind of terrible, painful situation to realize that we cannot worship these things. 
because they cannot fulfill the deep needed the deep needed desires that we have it's, it's always good to have a family it's good to have kids it's good to have children but if you want them more than god that is when they become an idol and how do we break down these idols um one of the key ways is to realize that you are human and that you should therefore not be prideful to think you don't have any idol. Uh, a, relationship, a relationship can be an idol because you think that that's the only way you'll be accepted into a group or accepted into a place. You have a relationship and God is telling you to wait, but you want to get married so quickly because you've idolized a wedding. People who idolized a wedding, the idea of having a big glamorous wedding so much that they forget when god tells them to still and know that he's god that is what i meant by that so the times where um you admit that you're human that is a key way